know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I'm going to explain about re-entrant corners. So what is a re-entrant corner or what is uh, the meaning of building with re-entrant corners? So it is uh, something like uh, a building which is having a projected parts in its plan direction, in its, in its plan, that is plus type building, T type building, L type building, V type and Y type, that kind of buildings. So code is uh, giving some, code has given some guidelines as to how to safeguard the building when re-entrant corners are present in the building. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so re-entrant corner. So this comes under uh, plan irregularities. If this is one of the plan irregularities. So a building is said to have a re-entrant corner in any plan direction when its structural configuration in plan has a projection of size greater than 15% of its overall plan dimension in that direction. So what does this, this mean? Can look at these two figures. Let's look at the first figure. So in plan, the total length is L and this is the projected part. So this projected part compared to the total uh, length in that direction, that is A by L is greater than 15%. So then this building is said to have re-entered corner along X direction. Similarly, along Y direction also is the same thing. And when it comes to this uh, second figure, so this is projected part is A and plan means length in this direction, X direction is L2. So A by L2 and along Y direction also A by L1 is greater than 15%. So that means this building, these two buildings are having re-entrant corners in two plan directions. Now what will happen when such kind of configuration is there, especially plan configuration? So earthquake performance of the building will be very poor because of the stress concentration at the corners. At these corners, stress concentration will be there. Why there will be stress concentration at that place? So along, X, along Y direction, if there is a vibration, then middle portion will be more stiffer compared to these projected uh, parts. So same along X direction. So middle portion will be more stiffer compared to these projected parts. So when there is a stiffness difference uh, between the two parts, that is the middle portion and the extended portion, the dynamic behavior will be different. There will be dissimilar dynamic uh, behavior. So hence there will be stress concentration. Now what to do when such kind of uh, configuration is present in the structure? So what code says is in buildings with re-entrant corners, three-dimensional analysis method with flexible floor diaphragm shall be adopted to capture the concentration of forces generated in the re-entrant corners, especially in the floor diaphragm and special elements adjoining the re-entrant corners. So what are the important things to understand from this, uh, uh, this paragraph or this clause? That is, first one is when building is satisfying the condition for re-entrant corner, we need to do three-dimensional analysis. And also by assuming the flexible floor diaphragm, flexible floor diaphragm. So there are two, rigid floor diaphragm action and flexible floor diaphragm action. So in this case, code suggests flexible floor uh, diaphragm action to be considered and that to three-dimensional analysis. And this is in addition to rigid floor diaphragm analysis if it is applicable in the case of this structure. And out of these two, worst effect should be considered. So that is what is the uh, code suggestion. So in summary, when re-entrant corner is present, that means if the projected part in plan, in any direction in plan, is more than 15% of the overall dimension, then building has re-entrant corners. And in that case, uh, three-dimensional analysis with flexible floor diaphragm uh, assumption analysis should be conducted. And then worst effect of rigid floor diaphragm analysis and flexible floor diaphragm analysis out of this worst condition has to be uh, adopted in design. So the intention of this lecture, short lecture, is to help students and practicing engineers to understand IS codes in a better manner. Thank you.